What is up, YouTube? Multi Apples here, bringing you another video. And today we'll be playing FIFA 17, and I have decided it to be an international match between Egypt and um, Bulgaria. So let's go ahead and get started. This should be interesting. El Grandioso. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This really should be interesting in my opinion. I know both countries aren't usual powerhouses in soccer, so it'd be nice to give nice to have these two teams here. Of course, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith are on commentary, but we can't hear them because I'm talking and I'm giving commentary on this game, I should say. I don't want to talk like that, but it's okay. So yeah, how's everyone doing whenever you're watching this? I think I mentioned earlier in a previous video that I had watched Extreme Rules, I'm not 100% sure if I mentioned it, but it was a good pay-per-view. I mentioned I was going to watch it in the pay-per-view uh, earlier this week. Uh, so I predicted the Miz would success. I successfully predicted the Miz would win his Intercontinental Championship. Um, let's see, who else did I predict? I, uh, sadly, Roman, I predicted Roman Reigns, and he did not win his match. Oh, sweet, the referee's from Sweden, that's pretty cool. Um, Roman Reigns did not win his match, Samoa Joe won the match. Sheamus and Cesaro won, which I predicted correctly. Um, the, Sheamus and Cesaro won the, um, Tag Team Championships. Neville defeated Austin Aries. I thought Austin Aries would finally win. Bailey lost her match, and I thought Bailey would win, win back the Royal Women's Championship. Then he had Kalisto defeat Apollo Crews, and um, Rich Swan and Sasha Banks defeat Noam Dar and Alicia Fox. And those are some of the predict. I didn't predict for all of the matches though. So, I just mainly predicted the championship matches, because those were the ones I could remember at the time. And the number one, con Fatal 5-Way Extreme Rules number one contenders match for the Universal Championship. That was a, well, no, it was a match for the number one contender, con contendership, and I thought it wasn't extreme enough, that it should have been used, there should have, when I would have made it in a, I would have liked to see it be an elimination match. But, um, since it wasn't, this, uh, that's okay. I would have, I would have thought it would be more extreme. They used the announce table, which is pretty predictable. And, um, every, uh, match that involves three, or every, um, non-tag team match that involves three or more men. Um, they used the steel chair, which is also kind of predictable. Uh, someone was sent through the announce team as well as referring earlier. Um, they used a steel chair, which they use in every, again, almost practically every non, uh, tag team match that involves three or more men. And, um, that was the only weapons that I can remember that they used, which I was expecting them to use, like, tables, ladders, chairs, um, I have it go to the go outside into the fans more often than it did. Maybe unusual weapons like thumbtacks or, um, you know, that sort of stuff. There were only really two really ex matches that were two hardcore matches, which was the tag team match, which was in a steel cage. And, um, the Extreme Rules match. Now, they did, the Intercontinental Championship match was, oh, it was an own goal. 
The Intercontinental Championship match wasn't a standard match either, but I guess you could consider that extreme, but I'm not really sure. Um, uh, if Dean Ambrose got disqualified, he would lose the IC title, which he technically didn't get disqualified, but he still lost because he got pinned by The Miz. So... There's that. Dang it, that was a penalty or a foul. Oh, okay, it's a free kick. My bad. I'm really terrible at commentary. Oh, offsides by them. Let's go ahead and see how far we could get, which wasn't that far. We're already 20, wow, we're already 20 minutes in to the match. Remember, for those of you that aren't familiar with the rules in soccer, which a lot of people are, but for those that aren't, you know, it's two halves, 45 minutes each. So, I'd actually be more surprised that soccer is the world's most popular sport, that for anyone that isn't familiar with the rules... Let alone with the sport. Dang it, I turned the ball over. And I'm really terrible. So actually, one thing I'm excited about is that Naomi will be defending her SmackDown Women's Ch Championship match. Or championship title against Lana. Which I think is pretty cool. Another offsides. But the thing I thought was really cool would be... Um, um, is the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match at Money in the Bank, which is a SmackDown only pay per view. I I can I get why SummerSlam, um, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and Survivor Series aren't traditional, aren't uh, sold pay per view or brand exclusive pay per views. Um, the Royal Rumble, obviously, you can fight at. WrestleMania for a world title. Um, that's, I can understand. WrestleMania is the flagship show, so they're expected to have more than both Raw and SmackDown brand matches. And the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial, which is into brand. Um, then SummerSlam, which really has nothing special about it other than it's, other than it will. It doesn't have anything... I say that because WrestleMania is like the first pay-per-view. WWE did, and it's their main show. Which is kind of like the World Cup of WWE. Um, see what I did there's FIFA World Cup. Um, you see what I did? Uh, okay. Anyway, yeah. Sorry about that. That was a... Terrible reference. Let's take out Marcelino. Um, let's take out Popov over here. And put in Slachev. Yeah, so SummerSlam uh, will obviously... Unlike Survivor Series with the Royal Rumble, it isn't built as like the flagship and WrestleMania it doesn't have a special match that belongs to it. I guess it's the history behind it. And it's one of the four main pay-per-views WWE originally ran alongside King of the Ring, but they no longer run King of the Ring on a year-to-year -year basis. Survivor Series is known for its traditional elimination matches, so, so you could build up Raw vs. SmackDown in that. Yeah, sorry, I was just checking the time. I still can't believe this is nearly 10 minutes. This video, well, then again, all my FIFA videos are usually 10 minutes. 
Except for that one time I, ch I attempted to live stream and it didn't work out because um, my live streams almost never work out and run smoothly. Um, that oh that was a good save though I'll give them that. Oh okay that went in. I didn't think it was going at first. I actually when it went in I didn't think it would. I, I didn't think it was in. Let's go ahead and check out the replay of this. When it eventually shows. Right, so it's two nothing Bulgaria over Egypt. Two two to nil. So we we Egypt hasn't even gone on off a shot. I really need to make this a harder difficulty. I don't know what I was thinking there. Dang it. Hey, at least at least we prevented the goal. Or saved it, I should say. And Egypt finally got a shot off. Oh, come on. Why don't you just get that and actually let the clock continue instead of... In real life, the clock would continue. But maybe they just did that to get a sub in. Dang it, I missed. But normally, in an actual match, if you to watch soccer live, the clock would never stop unless it's halftime. Wow, it's almost 70 minutes already. Dang it. Come on. Oh, he missed. Obviously missed the... Getting the ball. Oh, that actually bounced off one of my guys? Huh. And Egypt scored, which is good for them. Yeah, I, if I butcher any of the names here, I apologize. Um, I'm not good with pronunciation. But anyway, that was a good goal, though. That was a good goal for Egypt. Dang it. Yep, 70 minutes in. The one thing I... They, every four years, EA Sports releases... um Or EA... EA Sports is owned by EA. EA will release, like, the World Cup version of FIFA, which is um just the countries by itself, which I don't mind. It gives a chance for every country that participated in the World Cup to be represented... Um, so that, that, to me, that's really cool. Dang it. And they don't, what I like is like the high, what I prefer is like the highest, um, level of professional soccer leagues, or at least team, one team from, like, I don't mind actually having leagues like, uh, um, me the English Premier League or the Spanish Premier League or something like that. But I wish they, um, if they would include um, either uh, the national team for countries that don't have a league represented. Like, for example, Monaco has a national team, but AS Monaco is in League One, which is represented in the French League. So, um, Liechtenstein has another team, I think, representing the highest level of French soccer. So, for example, instead of like, um, you know, putting in the Liechtenstein national team, uh, put in like country, either teams from other countries, or just put the national, national teams like, for example, say they didn't, for example, they didn't put the, I'm just giving this country as an example, they didn't put the Qatari, the Qatar Premier League or whatever the official name, but I'm just, I apologize to the people of Qatar. So why not put um like the Qatar national team 
and the um for the international men's version or the or the women's team, you know, the na women's national team or the men's national team. And anyway, enough of me rambling. The game ended with Bulgaria winning two to one. Both teams played good. Well, I'm gonna end it here. I hope y'all have a good one. Stay safe. God bless. Peace out. Love y'all. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. God bless. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. And deuces. And yeah, share my channel as well. And subscribe if you already haven't. You know what? Let's check out the match statistics for each team. Excuse me. The match facts, I should say. Should say. So, we had twice as many goals and twice as many... Bulgaria had twice as many goals and shots as Egypt did. And three times as many shots on target. But the position was, e the posi the, uh, position was equal. Um, Egypt had more tackles. We had more fouls. Tied for... the Well, the injuries, yellow cards and red cards were um, tied. Same with offsides. But Bulgaria had more corners. The shot accuracy and pass... Well, the shot accuracy was in favor of Bulgaria, but the pass accuracy was in favor of Egypt. Anyway, enough of me blabbling. Babbling on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to end it. And, yeah. If you have any ideas for games or videos you want me to play, just let me know in the comment section. Deuces. I'm going to let this get to 17 minutes really quick. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to end the video. And here, here are the match facts for all events. Then you see the goals. No bookings, no injuries. Substitutions, though. They had substitutions, obviously. But anyway, I'll let y'all go now.